Today marks an exciting moment in the productivity space, the public preview of a brand new app from tech giant Microsoft. That is not an everyday occurrence. Microsoft Loop is here and promises to change how teams and individuals use Microsoft 365. We're gonna take a look at what Loop is, who it's for, how you access it, and then I wanna show you my five favorite features, including an AI co-pilot. Pretty cool. I'll share my thoughts on why Loop has the potential to shift how we look at Microsoft's platform as an even more powerful collaboration option. In fact, I've been working closely with Microsoft as a hashtag Loop creator to get you guys the inside scoop on what we can expect from this new productivity and collaboration system. This video is not sponsored though. We've just been given early access to test it out. So if you wanna access Loop now, you can do so in public preview on your browser by going to loop.microsoft.com. More on details in a moment. Hi, it's Simon. Welcome back to Better Creating. It's fair to say that recent years have accelerated us all into a pivotal moment in how we work. A big shift with more and more workers and teams collaborating remotely and people splitting in-person office work with asynchronous collaboration and working from home. I think it's one of the reasons we've seen platforms like Notion, ClickUp, or video calling softwares like Zoom grow exponentially over those years and Apple release new features like their freeform app and group calling functions. But one company I've been particularly interested in over the last year is Microsoft and the promise of this new Microsoft Loop app. So what is Loop and how do you access it? Loop is essentially a new app that combines a flexible and customizable canvas where users can create, collaborate, and share workspaces pages together, and then portable components that can be shared and embedded into other apps and locations like email, Microsoft Teams, Word, Whiteboard. This means content can be synced across the locations back into your workspaces, allowing teams a new way to collaborate and plan together that can be accessed via a very well-designed mobile app that has definitely been designed from the user experience first. And I think it gives a really intuitive and well thought through setup to interact with. I'll show you more of that in a bit. So you can access it today by going to loop.microsoft.com. And whilst I believe you do need a business or enterprise account to use the Loop mobile app, the good news is that if you only have a personal Microsoft account, you can still sign in to the Loop desktop app at that loop.microsoft address and give the whole thing a try. And what's really cool is that workspaces or components in Loop that are shared across personal accounts will still sync so you can have a go at that team experience. Perhaps the best way, in my opinion, to describe Loop is that it's Microsoft's answer to Notion but with more customized integrations and interactivity with the rest of Microsoft 365. What I really like is that when you set up a new workspace, it will prompt you to add and draw in resources like other office documents, whiteboards, etc. But also what's really cool is you can draw files and materials from other apps and storage platforms, potentially like Google Docs or Dropbox. And what's particularly interesting is the Loop app has its own storage format. So what you put on it won't go onto your OneDrive for business. I think it utilizes the SharePoint OneDrive tech, but in a new format made for Loop. So who is it for? I think Loop is for small group collaborations and helping teams manage multiple deliverables and problem solving as a group. It also smooths out the process of using multiple apps to stay productive by giving them a central kind of node. And it's definitely something which is gonna help with this asynchronous working pattern that many of us are in to share workspaces across different geographies and time zones. I've also found that Loop has the potential to develop into a very useful standalone workspace. It's early days, but I see the same potential for building personal knowledge management workspaces, task and project management, and other creative work. So let's dive into some examples so you can see more about how Loop works and some of my favorite features. Number one, build custom workspaces and pages to manage your projects and content. Very similar functions to something you'll find in Notion if you follow the channel. You can draw resources and content from multiple sources on the setup of a workspace to add those things in. And then the block-based system and template system allows you to create bespoke, changeable, and buildable canvases. Number two, turn sections of your workspace into shareable loop components. This is so cool. Share with team members across other apps and stay in sync, even if you're not there in real life. This means you can bring any part of your workspace by selecting it, turning it into a component, and sharing it wherever else you want to. It currently works with Teams, 
Outlook, Word, and Whiteboard, what a useful thing. Number three, live collaboration with real people. This is a really simple feature, but a really great idea. I can see exactly where the cursor is of my collaborator in the workspace on the pages. So there's this sense of working together. You can literally be creating or editing something together and see where that person is looking and where they're adding something. This is a really powerful function and genuinely makes the workspace one which I think people will use more easily as a collaborative space. Here's an example of what I mean. Perhaps you are in a Teams chat and create a loop task list component together discussing the next steps of a project. You can then copy this component into the relevant loop workspace so that all your information comes together. We might brainstorm ideas for the project in the workspace. I can at mention additional team members to bring them to the page to collaborate. Number four, this is really cool, Loops AI Copilot. So using the forward slash option to add different items into your workspace, you can also see that there is a Copilot AI functionality. With the Copilot, I can do things like brainstorms, blueprints, describe something based on my prompts. And it seems that this powerful feature is already hard baked into the app, clearly a sign of things to come in the world and well worth checking out. Number five is the Loop mobile app. This looks particularly promising. Here are three things I'm enjoying for you to look out for. When you open Loop, there is a page finder at the bottom, a very cool formatting idea to replace the sidebar in desktop view. And another cool thing is that if you turn it sideways, they've created a dedicated landscape mode for mobile. Very well done, at Microsoft. In a workspace, you can create ideas which are essentially single private pages which you can type into. This works really nicely on the mobile app and then that idea page can be added to a workspace when you want to share it with others. The Loop app will also use native iOS functions like scan to text if you're on Apple. Really cool. What is excellent to see here is that the app is built with user experience placed first. Okay, this is all great, but I know many of you guys are focused on personal productivity tools and strategies to keep yourself organized. So let's briefly touch on how Loop compares to something like Notion for personal knowledge management and managing your life. One exciting advantage to consider with Loop is that you might use it in conjunction with the Microsoft 365 suite. So you can use other app formats to manage documents and knowledge and notes and then gather them into a Loop workspace as a hub. It's different to relational databases, but potentially really exciting. Now, currently the app works very well for separate projects and managing tasks and resources, project management team members for them, but it doesn't currently offer the same custom connectivity and workspace design options, something like Notion offers us to create multiple connections between knowledge, notes, task lists across various areas of your life. This is the power of the relational database system in Notion and that customization options that they create. It's the fundamental of why I've been able to build such a comprehensive Life OS Notion template. Do check that out if you don't know about it. But you know what? I have a feeling the Loop app could offer some of these features as the app is developed. I don't know that for sure, but this is early days and the good news is we can help shape where Microsoft take Loop together. So go try out the app, drop your thoughts in the comments here. I'll feed them back to the development team directly at Microsoft and let's see where this goes. So sign up to try the Loop app via the link in the description and make sure to get subscribed here if you haven't, turn on those bell notifications because I'll be sharing early updates on the Loop app on the channel often before anyone else. And if this got you wondering about the idea of personal productivity, check out this video next for the latest on my second brain system in Notion that might just help you get organized more easily. Hit the like button, it really makes a difference if you stayed this long. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.